Hold your hand out in front of you and look at it carefully. The human hand is made up of four fingers and one thumb. Have you ever thought about how much you use your thumb? Now examine your hand again. Move your thumb and fingers to find out how your thumb moves differently than your other fingers. Fingers and toes are called digits. The thumb is the shortest, thickest digit on the human hand and moves in a different direction than the other digits. It's also called the opposable thumb because the thumb can be moved around to touch the other fingers, which gives people the ability to grasp things, like pencils. Most primates, like humans, apes, chimpanzees, and monkeys, even some other animals, have opposable thumbs. Having opposable thumbs helps in grasping things more easily, picking up small objects, and eating with one hand. An opposable thumb is a physical adaptation. An adaptation is a feature that helps a plant or animal survive in its habitat. Adaptations can either be physical, a part of the body, or a behavior that an organism has developed. Swimming in a school would be a behavioral adaptation for fish that helps keep it from being eaten by other animals. An opposable thumb is a physical adaptation for primates. Opposable thumbs help monkeys and apes climb trees and gather and eat their food. Opposable thumbs help humans operate tools to make use of resources in our environment. Opossums have toes on their hind feet and that helps them grip branches when they climb. Look at that opposable thumb. Giant pandas have a bony portion of their wrist bone that they use like an opposable thumb to grasp bamboo when they eat. In today's lesson you're going to try out some simple everyday activities without the use of your thumb to find out just how important your thumb can be. The first step is to find some tape and lightly tape your thumbs to the sides of your hand. You should still be able to move your other four fingers. The question you'll ask yourself when you do these activities is, did it take longer or was it more difficult without thumbs? Was it about the same without thumbs? Or I just couldn't do this activity without thumbs. Try buttoning a shirt without the use of your thumb. Or for a bigger challenge, try taping both thumbs. Or how about using a zipper without a thumb? Unscrewing a jar, and then try to put the lid back on the jar. Picking up a coin. Or my favorite, trying to write your name. I would have to classify this as took longer or was definitely more difficult without my thumb. Well, now you try. Try to do some everyday activities and record them on the sheet, and then we'll post them today.